Hi, fifth graders. Welcome to Bible class and happy Wednesday. Today we are going to continue learning all about God's mercy. And today our focus is going to be on how we can show mercy to others. So you will need your Bible as well as your workbook, page 84, which looks like this. Okay, let's actually go over what this page says. Deontay has some questions about God's mercy. So this is our friend, Deontay. Read Proverbs 28, 13 and Matthew 5, 7 and write the reference in the blank that best fits each question. Then write what you would say in order to give Deontay a biblical answer. So Deontay has two questions about God's mercy. What are those questions? The first one says, How can I get mercy if I have hidden my sin. How can I get God's mercy if I hid my sin, if I didn't tell anybody about it and I didn't confess? His second question, excuse me, is what is the advantage or what is the good thing about, like, why should I? What is the good thing about showing mercy to others? Why should we show mercy to others? What is the advantage? What does it give us? Okay. These are our two questions. Let's go ahead and read the Bible references to see how we can answer his questions. And as a quick reminder, mercy means God's forgiveness. So the first Bible verse we're going to read is from Proverbs chapter 8, chapter 28, verse 13, which says, Whoever conceals or hides their sins does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces or gives up gives them up, finds mercy. So, this directly correlates with Deontay's first question, right? Question about hiding a sin. Proverbs tells us about what, how to get mercy if you hid your sin. So, what is the correct reference? Proverbs 28, 13, very good. Okay, now, boys and girls, you gotta answer him. According to that verse, how can Deontay get mercy if he hid his sin? For example, maybe he cheated on a test and didn't tell anybody. How can he receive God's mercy? What does he have to do? Let me show you the verse again. So, what do you think? Pause the video here, write down your answer. Yeah, so we can say, to receive God's mercy, you should confess and renounce your sin. You might have written something different and that's okay. It doesn't have to be word for word. You could have also written something like you should repent before God and he will he will give you mercy, right? Something along those lines. Now, let's look at the second verse. Matthew 5, 7 it says, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. To answer his question, well, first of all, the question is, what is the advantage of showing mercy to others? Why should I show mercy? What would I receive? So this aligns with Matthew 5, 7. What happens to people who show mercy to others? Pause here and tell me what you think. Yes. If you are merciful to others, you will also be shown mercy. So in other words, forgive others just as God forgave you, right? So you could write, Something similar to, if you are merciful to others, so if you show mercy to other people, then you will also be shown mercy, okay? Again, if you could have paraphrased it in your own words, then that's totally okay. Now we're going to apply this. It says, by showing mercy to others, believers reflect God's character quality of mercy. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 12, the Apostle Paul encouraged Christians to put on mercy the same way that you put on your clothes. Read the following scenarios. Write at least one way you might show mercy in each situation. So let's read Colossians first. It says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and de dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another. Yes. So this is what Paul wrote to Christians. Now, I uh, will link a video in the description box, the AL video, uh, about Paul and how um, 
a little bit more about his story and about the letters that he wrote to lots of churches and about God's mercy, etc. So go ahead and watch that as well. But let's finish our workbook first. The three situations. My dad lost his job and my mother had to go to work. To show mercy to my mother, I could link. So it's not necessarily saying, how can I forgive my mother? Because not, there's nothing to forgive in this situation. But what can you do here to show compassion and love to your parents in this difficult situation where your dad lost your job and instead your mother has to work? What can you do to show love and compassion to your mom? Pause here and write down your answer. Number four, my little brother received a poor grade in math. To show mercy to my brother, I could. So again, what can you do in this situation to show or reflect God's quality of mercy, to show him, you know, give him some of your time and love? What can you do? Pause here, write down. And lastly, a close neighbor, so maybe a friend or somebody who lives in your apartment building, does not know Jesus as Savior. To show mercy to my neighbor, I could blank. So again, what can you do to show God's love in the situation? Pause, write. Great. Last question of the day. How can you show mercy this week? What are some things you can do this week to show mercy? So there's a couple ways to think about this. One, maybe you're still holding a grudge against a friend or a parent or relative about something that happened in the past that still made you angry. How, what can you do today to show mercy to this person? Or if we look at some synonyms, words with similar meanings of mercy, we have compassion, forgiveness, hu humanity, kindness. So another way to phrase this question would be, what can you do to show kindness or compassion or your gratitude to somebody this week? So what can you do today to show your parents that you're grateful for them? What can you do to show your, your neighbors or your relatives or your friends that you're grateful for them and that you care about them? It's a good question, especially in this pandemic time, pandemic, um, where it's hard to actually go somewhere, right? We have to do everything virtually in a way. Or what can you do to show mercy to all the doctors and nurses that are working hard every day um, during this pandemic? Pray for them, things like that. So um, take some time to think about that, pray about that, and we will end today's class with a prayer. Hands together, eyes closed. Dear God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you as always for showing us your mercy in every single aspect of our lives. Please continue to strengthen our relationship with you and to make you proud and be able to reflect the quality of mercy that you have, you always show us. Please help us to be aware and always pray for those who are fighting this pandemic out there, the nurses, the doctors, all the bus drivers, subway drivers. Please protect every single one of us. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Great job and I will see you in math class. Yes. Bye.